Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. With my bicep. Oh, shit. Check this out. Tall, medium, short. A children's show. That's not impressive well, I for put you it to in do. Order, though. Tall, I didn't. I did too, but I didn't short. even mean to. That's how good I am. Tall and medium. When there's two, you can only get it in the right order, though. Because any way you look at it, since there's only two, the order is right. A children's show. So when you have when three. When you have two, the only thing you can do is get it in the right order. But, but when you have three, it really takes skill. When you have three, it takes skill. <laughs> That's so bad. Do you have skill? I have skill. Children's show. I have um, skill. Okay, well, that's good, man. I'm glad you have skill. You I have, have skill. real skill. Throwing up. Um, <laughs> welcome to the show, Lifeline. Uh, and we are already rip-roaring, aren't we? Yeah. Um, I've got my Join Our Cult and Share Ideas merch on for over at Congratulations. And welcome to Lifeline, brought to you by Super Cult Studios, the coldest tasting beer. Wow. Um, you remember when they did that Are in Coors Light? In our wings? No. Okay, well, they did it. The coldest tasting beer. Oh, when they were doing the silver bullet shit? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Rock the Rockies? I don't know. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Why did they do it like it was a commercial for Colorado? Well, is that a real song already? I don't know. Yeah, I guess it, it, it maybe is, be, but yeah. I remember um, my friend Tim, would when I was in high school, that... that commercial came out for Coors Light and it would be like Rocky Mountain High Colorado and and he would he would say I had we were friends with a guy named Brandon and he would say Rocky Mountain High Chris and Brandon and I don't wow. know why and it pissed me off and I think about it sometimes who's Tim oh Tim, Tim Chung? Chung yeah oh, wow. I talk about him in the past few episodes of congratulations and also now Lifeline so that's great Tim Chung yep I haven't thought about Tim Chung once since the last time I saw his face which was probably when I was a fucking freshman in high school Sadiq about Tim Chung. No, I'm just saying that's crazy. I like seen memory him. lane. I seen I him. I seen him. Okay. So uh yeah, you can get the merch over here at crystalia.com, but also super cult uh lifeline brought to you by <laughs> Super Cult Studios, the coldest tasting beer. Why do you do that? Um, because oh, I remember it and oh, I want to do oh, it. That's not a good reason to do um, something. And so I'm gonna be why don't I do dates? I'm gonna be in your boys going on tour, you know that. I'm gonna be in Grim. Grand Prairie, throw up, almost throw, throw up. up. Grand Prairie, Texas, and that's near Dallas. In case you don't know, but you probably know if you're in Texas. So I'm going to be in Grand Prairie, Texas, August 26th. Wichita, Kansas, August 27th. Did you know Wichita is where the BTK killers from? Did you know? Yes, I did. Do you know Wichita makes me think about uh, Shut Your Mouth? I don't know. What and that then is. I think about WWF Slam Down Shut Your Mouth. Smackdown. I, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. I don't know what. I mean, Slam Down. You know, so far. In. <laughs> <laughs> what is a wrestling show uh, Slam Down? What is shut your WWE mouth? WWE Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. Okay, what? Well, well, that was not an event. explaining it. That was an event by Smack, Vince McMahon Smackdown who recently shut got in mouth. fucking trouble. Yeah, Smackdown Shut Your Mouth is the dopest fucking thing to call an event. Well, it really is, yeah. dude. Smackdown Shut Your Mouth would be a rapper. You know that, right? So, yeah, okay. But hey, yo, so, what up? So uninviting, you know? Yo, what up? It's Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. Yeah, that's get good. Your, that would get, be a good rapper name. Get your head, uh, get your head out, your pla- out your ass playboy. So oh, insecure. It, 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 well, rappers are insecure, dude. Oh, okay. So, uh, WWE Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. Why did it's WWF have to change it to WWE? Do you know why? I know why. Because they needed to legally say that it was entertainment. And when it was an F standing for federation, it wasn't clear that it was not real, that it was fucking fake. So they changed it to an E to make sure that we all knew it was entertainment. None of that's true. But um, yeah, I might have made that That's up. not true. That's not true at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think um, it's cool though. They changed the company uh, because of how they uh, there was something else called the same thing. Okay, I listened to a whole podcast of it, good, but it's fine. But it's fiction. But it's, it's good. It's, it's good, like Harry Potter's good. Yeah, is it good? No. 
Um, Harry Potter, I saw too. Well, we'll get into that later. So I'm going to be in Atlanta, Georgia, Wichita, Kansas, uh, hotbed of crime, going to be there. Atlanta, Georgia, Washington, D.C., hotbed of political crime, September 10th, <laughs> Stockton, California, and then Oakland, California, September 23rd, September 24th, hotbed of crime. Yep. Get your wig split back. Uh, Peoria, Illinois, near Chicago, hotbed of crime. Rockford, <laughs> Illinois, near Chicago, hotbed of crime. Uh, that's October 7th, October 8th. Raleigh, North Carolina, that's where the guy from the staircase threw his fucking wife down the stairs. <laughs> hotbed of crime. Savannah, Georgia, pretty nice, but probably uh probably a hot better crime for the like horses better, and like, cows upscale crime yeah, yeah 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 exactly dude white collar crime yep uh then denver colorado november 5th cheyenne wyoming november 6th beautiful mountains boston massachusetts november 12th two shows hot like, better irish crime hot, <laughs> <laughs> hot better stealing potatoes and guinness um <laughs> and then december 2nd and 3rd i'm gonna be in lakeland florida and jacksonville florida hot better incestual crime so um <laughs> Anyway, dude, I'll be there. Go to chrystalia.com and get your tickets. They're flying. And chrystalia.com brought to you by uh, the coldest tasting beer. Uh, no, 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 no. We're going to stop doing that. No, yeah. we don't. I think we are. We keep doing the same thing over and over again. And now that I have a kid, I do the same thing over and over again. And I have an audience that appreciates it. Thank God. Yeah. Yep. He good. loves it. He it's doesn't even good. have to say do it again, daddy. You finally have someone who likes it. Yep. So. Um, the fucking two-year-old. Yeah. So I saw Harry Potter. You saw Harry Potter? Saw the first two ones, and I'm on the third one. You would just the other day say, and that triggered. That the triggered other day, me watching Chris it. was saying, I don't know fucking anything about Harry Potter. And I don't. And now all of a sudden you're saying you've seen the first three? Let me tell you this. I saw two Harry Potters and a half. Two and a half Harry Potters. Far in. Two Harry Potters and a half okay. Harry Potters. What, the and third one wasn't cutting it or what? No, I, I fell asleep oh, because so it was late. it wasn't cutting it. But it was late. Oh, okay. Um, I don't, I don't know what it's about. There, said it. And you don't either. Yes, dude. And everyone says it's so good. And I don't know what it's about. And here's even furthermore, I don't know how to describe what it's about. Yes, dude. It's impossible bon to- Scott. Bon Scott. <laughs> dude, you're a fucking idiot, dude. You've seen, there's eight of the movies. Watch it. And dude. you've seen two and a half of them and you don't know what it's about It's about yet? kids in a school that know magic and then they learn magic and then also there's evil there, I guess. And a guy is like trying to come back to life and he keeps trying to come back to life and the kids like don't like him, but some of the kids do. That's exactly how J.K. Rowling pitched it. <laughs> dude i don't know what it's about well then you're stupid fantastic beasts i watched fucking some of it it's by jk rowling it's by just kidding rowlings do you know what do you know what that's about yes it's about a guy who fucking tries to uh collect all the beasts because the beasts get out in the city and the beasts can't be known because the beasts are in the underworld and he's like this liaison between the beast world and the regular world and he can't figure out how to get him and he has to get them all back here's what before I don't everyone feel, re realizes that the beasts. here's what i don't around. like I haven't even seen it. Any of the shit based on J.K. Rowling's books. Just Kidding Rowling's makes books that are about crazy fucking... Dude, they just keep on making up rules. I'm watching it with Kristen. I'm like, so wait. I don't wait. like that. Yeah, I'm like, so wait. Why, does, why, why is he now over here? And she's like, because this is the land where everything's okay. And yeah. he just has to ask for help and then he gets it. There's always a land where that thing's okay. And I'm like, what? Everything else is not okay everywhere else Bro, this is a bullshit movie this is why a lot of the sci-fi shit is bullshit because you don't need to actually write good shit because you can just like it, it's like if a fucking movie was a, a um a regular movie not with fucking sci-fi and then all of a sudden in this movie they were like oh well but here's the fucking actual mechanism that if you press a button everyone forgets everything and then they can move on with their lives that's just, but they're making it, do you know what I'm saying? Or no? Uh, what like, you're say, saying, say, the right way to say what you're saying is if you don't set up the world clearly at the beginning, it sucks. Sci fi is yes. a slippery slope because you can just keep making yes. shit up, keep making shit up in the right. middle and then the end and be like, well, this thing needs to happen. Fuck, I wrote myself into a corner. Ah, what if I make up this part where that in that land you could do that one thing? Yeah, it's all mechanisms and tricks. Like even Men in Black, it's like, oh, we can wipe your memory. Boom. And it's also like, here come the Men in Black. Tone deaf. Galaxy Defenders. Is that what they say? The yeah. Galaxy Defenders? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Here come the man in black. Wow. All right. So you want to get into the fucking shits? I want to get directly into the shits. Brought to you by Super Cult Studios. Click and like the- Hey, Chris. Hey, okay. Matt. Thor. Uh, Thor. Long time listener. First Chris time Evans. Caller. This guy's the shit. Been watching since day one. Big fan. 
Day one was two uh, weeks ago. My <laughs> question is about fucking a roommate. Do you fuck your roommate? Wow. Oh my god! Thought of it right then. Chris uh, Evans and Thor and how had a baby. That can get complicated. Uh, so sexy. So, so sexy. Turning us on. Hypothetically, let's be in sleeping with my roommate, and she's become emotionally involved despite uh, being forward about intentions and so what Canadian. have you and. <laughs> And yeah, thanks guys. Being, being so casual, being forward about intentions, dude. Being so casual. My question is, no, he's, it had to be quiet because his roommate's in the other room. You know? No, dude, she's sucking him while he's doing it, and he didn't want to. He <laughs> want her to know that he's doing the video. Uh, question is <laughs> about fucking your roommate. So what's the deal with that? Mm. So while I'm talking about how much was that this, guy? I'm getting sucked by her right now. Dude, that's Bill Clinton. That guy was basically Bill Clinton. You know what? He is honestly, question should have been which Marvel Avenger am I? Because he was <laughs> in between Thor and also Captain America. He actually really was. You're, um, you're usually wrong, but that was right. No, I'm not usually wrong. Um, so here's the thing about what this guy's asking about. Here's the thing about what this guy's saying. He fucked up so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And up. everyone in the entire fucking universe knows that. Yeah, in the Marvel ex- universe. Apparently except him. What do you mean? Because that was obviously a bad idea to do it. Oh, so he did it already. He did it already. Okay. Did he and say he did it already? He said, what do you mean? Oh, because she got mostly involved. Yes. And it but was you like, know, she... people can get mostly involved before they even fucking But don't. that was obviously going to happen with one of them. Mm. One of them was mm. obviously going to get more emotionally involved than the other one. Right. Because of obvious life living. Because Farm, of obvious yeah. life living, this was obviously going to happen. Mm. All you had to do was look at obvious life livings of everyone that's ever lived a life. Wow. And you would know that some this is going to be a bad fucking idea. Mm. Now, I don't even want to give him advice. He fucking did the dumb thing. But guys are stupid though, dude. I'll if you're, say. If you're a roommate and, and then she's going to be walking around, obviously, in not many clothes because they're roommates and she's got to get ready and he's going to catch a glimpse of her fucking, you know what I mean, walking by with the door open and he's just going to go like, huh. And then he's going to one day just be so stupid and drunk. What and a be like, fucking... I'm sorry, you're like handsome. A boner. And you're cool, but you're a fucking... That is so dumb. No, it, but here's the thing, though. It happens all the time, and somebody's probably going to wind up dead. But the main thing is you just basically have to not ever fuck your roommate. Ever. It's all, or, Unless you're prepared to move. Because yeah. you got to move now. Yeah. And guess what? you got to move no matter what. you got to either move if you work out or don't work out. If you don't work out, one of you has to move, yep. right? Obviously, if you do work out, you still got to move because she's never going to be happy with the fucking place that you have because it's probably too small and it was for roommates, exactly. not for loving living. Yes, yes. It's deeper. And it's all good. But that's the truth. So that, that is the truth. Yeah. So you fucked up. Honestly, shave and go into the witness protectors program. <laughs> Dude, don't don't fucking ever leave. Just leave. Leave. Leave the country. Leave the country. Come to America because you're obviously in Canada. A boot. Dude, that guy's also, the thickest Canadian accent. Also, the beard, just so Canadian. Yeah. But um also work car heart, which is fucking super popular in Canada, up up super north. He's so Canadian, he like carries around an axe in case he needs to chop wood. Yeah. And he never has a shirt on even when it's snowing. But he has that hat on. <laughs> He's like the guy from The Simpsons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, dude, you fucked up. But if, if the advice is what do you do now, you have two options. One, move. But mm-hmm. that's the obvious option. Well, you got to move. Two, right just be real about it. Be like, I think we made a mistake. Is there any way we could go back to the way it was before? Obviously, the answer is going to be no, but there's a slim chance it's yes. But those are your only two fucking options. You you did a bad, bad, bad mistake. Chris okay? Isaac. Baby did a bad, bad thing. Isn't that that Chris Isaac song? Baby did a bad, bad so thing. So I think- I was singing it. Baby did oh, a okay. bad, bad thing. I think that he also, it's too bad that we're not in a sci-fi movie because he could wipe her memory and then just fucking walk around and be like, we didn't fuck. Here come the men in black. Every song you sing is the exact, the note is exactly the same no matter the what. Galaxy Defenders. Okay. Bad. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, dude, you fucked up. Get out of it. Unless you love her. If you oh, obviously, if you are right. into her, then just continue the relationship. Right. Yeah, but you're you made a really bad mistake. Little bad bad thing. Yeah. Yep. That that's good when I do that. That is one of the good things. That to do. song, Chris Isaac had two good songs, and that's it, dude. When, wicked, wicked game in that. Oh, the wicked thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the sound. Say that, hallelujah. No. 
Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so Bill Clinton. You got jizz on your dress. <laughs> the Oval Office. No, I cheated on Hillary. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Such sad lyrics. Back in the nineties, do 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 do. bad bad thing. Bill Clinton. I'm every song is a medley. Good. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, wow. dude. Wow. No thought I'd be the president. Wow. But I am. Yeah, but Alabama. I am. You say Alabama? Yeah, no, Arkansas, Arkansas. Arkansas. Same. It's exactly the same. Arkansas and Alabama is exactly the same. So rude, what you did. <laughs> over the, over the, Alabama. That. What's the end of the part? The end of the song where he just starts talking. Alabama and Arkansas. Are basically he doesn't the same. do that. You're completely making that up. Chris Isaac does it. No, he doesn't. At, at the end of the game? song, he just starts. At the end, he just cuts, he just like kind of trails off, and it's the end of the song, and the oh. girls running at the beach. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Helena Christensen's running at the beach or whatever her name is. That video left a real impression on me. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know? You too or you know I left No, I, I know it did to people, but it didn't to me. Why not? Um, I was already knowing what sex was at that point. So what? You don't have to not know what sex is to le- to be have an impression left on it's you. It's the definition the of an impression. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but uh it was good. I just that she that lady is not really my type, you know. She was actually beautiful, yeah. Christensen beautiful, is beautiful. The most beautiful woman I know. That ever she is, lived. and not my type. So sue me. I'll, I'm gonna take you to court. I'm uh, in it. Bill I'm Clinton. In, I'm in the Oval Office. <laughs> I mean, can't you even. Just on it. your dress as <laughs> evidence. <laughs> fuck Linda Tripp. No, I. You didn't fuck Linda Tripp. No, I know. I said fuck Linda oh, Tripp because she Tripp. exposed okay. me. <laughs> it, everyone thought Monica was a slut and now 20 years later they all think it's my fault no I, <laughs> the same thing happened but opinions are different nothing changed except people's minds that's so weird worst lyrics ever There's no news about it people were mad at her now they're mad at me well, okay, we're gonna go with Chris Isaacs but thanks for coming in <laughs> Play, start playing the sax. <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. Hi, Chris and Matt. Big fan of the podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to ask you guys for some advice. So cool. I moved in with my boyfriend this past December. We've been together for three years now. And the only issue that I've had since we've moved in together is that I am really the only person that cleans or buys anything for this house. Uh, he does give me money for stuff and uh, like we split the okay. bill, but okay. I want help. Like yeah. I don't want to be the one that always has to go to the grocery store or uh-huh. the one that always has to clean everything. Uh-huh. And I don't want to be naggy. I don't want to have to ask him to do everything i don't want to be his mom mm-hmm. but at the same time i don't feel like i should be doing everything by myself mm-hmm. and um i just want him to be more like self-aware of the things in this home so do you guys have any advice so that way i'm not the naggy girlfriend but also to not doing everything myself thanks guys i've got a great i, I it's interesting because here's the thing i have to say your boyfriend is me. Yeah, that's what I was going to say too. Yeah. So maybe he should stay out of this one. And literally, that's the that's almost that's so age old that fucking that age old fucking thing about how it's like the dude is the dude and he doesn't do what I say. <laughs> well, you know, he doesn't clean. It. Yeah, exactly. Which is she wants help, dude. My friend's me, dude. Yeah, which is Bonnie that's Scott. a fucking red flag if there ever was one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. boyfriend's him, but. No. Don't want to clean. Okay. 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 So I think Here's some cash. Don't worry about being the nagging girlfriend. That is an unfair box. Like if you if you're worried about being that, you're not going to be that. Like that's this is kind of like a box that women get put in. They get called the nagging girlfriend when like yeah. they want a guy to pick up dirty socks, and the guy's mm. like, I don't want. What the why are you nagging me? And it's like because mm. your socks are fucking disgusting. They're not though, probably. No, they're always disgusting. Any sock that's been on a foot for an hour or more is disgusting. You're not eating it. It's just there on the yeah. Fucking it's ground. disgusting to be there fine. on the ground. It's fine. No. Anyway, uh, just tell him. Be like, yo, pick up fucking after yourself no. and go get some shit sometimes. No. What do you mean no? Eat it. That's it. Eat the sock? Nope. Just eat it. Eat the eat 
eat the whole deal. Just, Shut the fuck up. Just, re- dude, does, what, what does he do that's good, right? He probably does lots of things that are good. That's why she's with them. There you go. So why are we complaining? <laughs> dude, you moved in together. Do, There's kids. What did he do before, before they moved in together? Well, he probably kept his place dirty as fuck because that's what he wanted. And then he kept his, what, cupboards completely bare? I, I don't know. No. I bet he point. went fucking grocery shopping sometimes. How about, how about this, though? Kristen said, why don't you just, because I leave my shit places. Yes, you know? I'm Our aware. place is not a mess. No. But I leave no, my shit not. places. But why is it not a mess? Uh, Kristen. No, I, I do do some tidying up, but I will say this. She said, why don't you just do the dishes? Always do the dishes, and that can be your thing, and I'll do everything else. And I say, but the dishes are the grossest part. And she says, exactly. So I say, okay, so I do the dishes mostly all the time, right? Um, I should do them probably all the time, but I have been making a conscious effort for, why don't you delegate shit, right? That's a good idea. Delegate shit. Like, I'll pick up the shit, and you do the fucking grocery shopping. Come up with things that he, that you do that he wouldn't mind doing or will think of doing. Yeah. And then he can do that all. Because like, if he's never going to get groceries, if he's never going to clean up after himself, right. you got to figure out other things that he can do 100% of the time. Like, I want to, I don't want Kristen to hear this, but like, if she asked me to do laundry some of the time, I would do it because I actually like doing well, laundry. Well, whispering isn't going to make a difference. No, You're on you. a show that goes out to the entire I world. I like doing the laundry kind of a little uh, bit, right? But like, I would do it if she asked me. I would do it more, but I don't want her to ask me to do it more because sometimes I, want, I mostly want to do other shit. Kristen, ask Chris no. to do laundry. He will what do it. What a wicked thing to do <laughs> if you ask me to do laundry. I go on the road and make money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fu- I'm the hunter, you're the gatherer. So dumb. <laughs> so find out shit that he can do, that he can think of on his own, that he doesn't need to be reminded of or nagged about. And then you have the things that you do. He has the things that he does. And hopefully it ends up close to 50%. Dude, actually. if I was him and she said, will you fucking shop more or fucking clean up more? I go like this. I bring home the bacon and do a spin move. What if he fucking, doesn't bring home the bacon? Well, you then don't he's, yeah, that's bad, dude. But you also bring home that's some bacon. just like. She probably brings home some bacon too, though. That's so old fashioned. Yeah, I don't know. I know, but I'm old fashioned. I know you are, but I'm yeah. trying to say for fucking her, okay? Mm, she seems new age. This isn't just a show for you to talk about you. These people call in and have advice. They seek advices. Yeah, true. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, advice. delegation. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And I thought of that one. Okay. Next. Yep. Yep. Hey, guys. Oh. So, following okay. situation. What is he, Michael like, Bublé? I'm a like piano this. teacher. I give one-on-one lessons. Is he Michael Bublé? What the fuck is he? I have one student um, since the beginning of the year. Pause it. Um, which Bro, I really what, like. Bro, what is he holding? A microphone. That's a microphone? Doesn't need it. Well, maybe he fucking does. I mean, he's so obviously Russian. Turn it up. Okay. 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 Turn it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not the right one. All All right, st- cool. start, it, start it over, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to start it over, baby. Go ahead. Here we go. Hey, guys. So, following situation. Um, I'm a piano teacher. I give one-on-one lessons and I have one student um, since the beginning of the year, um, which I really like. Um, I flirt with her. She flirts oh, with me. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. And um, one student. She's seductive with her eyes. Oh, no, there's really oh. something going on there. Oh, and I want to make the next move. But no. she's uh, wearing a lot of rings, especially on, on this fella. How and many fucking one, rings one she is wear? One matters. Um, Polygamist? Yeah. She a pirate? But she's flirting so much that it seems like she wants more. So more I don't want to ruin any marriage, but I want to find out if she's really mar- married or not. Maybe she's a widow. I don't know. How I mean, this guy. She? So, so I want to find out in a conversation. Um, maybe you have some um, suggestions, some tricks, tricks. some moves I could moves. make. Moves how to find out in a, in a, in a subtle way. Um, my best move so far is not very subtle. It's very confrontational uh, <laughs> asking her, by the way, is this um, engagement ring? And if she might say yes, why? Then I could say I only wanted to find out how much flirting is appropriate. That's not. Uh, that's my best move so far. Maybe a, you have some you, ideas for me. Robot. Asked, it would be very great. 
Um, yeah, much, much love from Germany. Hell yeah. Thanks for doing this. Um, yeah, goodbye. Doing, I mean, dude. All right. Well, that, the whole thing, just. Uh, there's a lot of ways we could start this I, one. I don't know what it's like in Germany, but in America, and if you're the teacher, yeah. you can't. Yeah. You know, this is your job. First things first, you don't. I mean, this guy, dude. I Don't fuck her. Yeah. I have had, I, no. Hello, I have one student since the beginning of the year. And no, no, I, no, that was I a, would like to fuck her. That, um, was a, that was a language very thing. Ruin my business? Yeah. <laughs> in he, Germany, it is tradition to ruin your whole business. <laughs> He meant one of his students. Okay, not, not as a language ju- barrier thing. Yeah. So, so is the word confrontational. The thing I do is very confrontational. I say, "Do you have a husband, or are you a widow?" Dude, <laughs> supposing the husband died is so German, dude. Yeah, I mean, is, how is she fucking sixty-five? Dude, she- I mean, like, did your husband die, dude? Okay, this. I mean, there is so much to fucking unpack. I think here, first I of all, what it. I'm curious about is. If she has a lot of rings on on that finger, it's Johnny Depp. Just ask, why do you have so many? What's up with that one finger? You have so many rings. Dude, on her it. hands are just so heavy when she comes no, in. No, one, one hand's leaning down because it's the one finger. Yeah, Look, yeah it's yeah. the wedding finger he's talking about. So go, so go. He said she has many rings. Yeah. So maybe she's a fucking carny and she just like has rings all over. But he should say, take off your rings, take off your rings to play the piano. It's easier. Take off your engagement ring. And if she says, "Oh, it's not, it's not like an engagement ring," ha ha ha, and he goes, "Ha ha," and then go in for a kiss. <laughs> That's a little tricky. Mm-hmm. Though. All over the piano. That's and shit. a little tricky though, because I know you you don't want to be like a sleaze roundabout. Just just I know. ask, but in a plain way, in okay. a non confrontational way. Just be like, "I noticed you have a lot of rings on that one finger. What what's that about? Rank the ri- rank the rings in order from one to nine. No, but okay. Here's what I say: Don't fuck her. Okay? Well, yeah, obviously. Okay, yeah. if you if you want to explore a love thing, let's go from this. Okay, all you got to do is say, I mean, add it to the fucking uh, lesson. Like, if you're playing, like, picture your husband. You love him very much, right? Like this, your husband. What's his name? She says either Greg. Then you know you got a husband. Okay, Greg, you love Greg, and you're playing for Greg. If she says, oh, I don't have one, then go like this. I, oh, really? <laughs> so that's very nice. And then play. And then you know, dude. Uh, but how much flirting is appropriate? Like your fucking kind of flirt bot 2000? Kind of none, though. Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> how much flirt? Before we commence lesson, I have noticed you have nine rings. I don't know which one is an engagement ring. However, which, how much flirting <laughs> is appropriate? <laughs> With the microphone still, <laughs> doesn't need it. Didn't even use it. That's the only one. Yeah, dude, he has a microphone, and this was the only one that you said turn it up. Yeah, true. Doesn't need it, dude. Or needed it more and held it too far. Everything away. on that guy is beige, dude. His skin, his lips, his nose, his hair, his eyes, everything's beige. He, yeah, he his was, shirt was beige. He was a robot. He is a robot. But beige, dude. Maybe it's different in Germany, as you pointed out. But just don't, don't ever fuck your student yeah okay i have one student i'm trying to ruin my business i'd like to slide <laughs> in and out of her by the end of the year dude <laughs> dude oh, the one i don't know what move i should do but the move i have is very confrontational no, i pull isn't. a gun on her <laughs> and i say do are you fucking married or not <laughs> <laughs> i say hands up student are you married or not and yeah then if she says yes i shoot her what did he say? Did he say he did that his move already, or he's thinking about? No, he's that? thinking about doing the move. But don't There's do no that. move. Dude. Don't. Yeah, don't. There is exactly. There is no move. But do it nicely, dude. Germans are very, you know what I mean, direct. And this is what I want. But like, dude, just fucking play around. Like your little, like your, you know, like your. You could add it in the lesson. Do you love your husband very much? But that's a separate yes? thing. Then good. Okay, then. If there's oh, so no he's saying, move, and there, there's if there's no move to be made because he shouldn't do it, then are you saying he still wants to find out if she's married or not? Because that's that could be two separate things. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I thought he wanted to find out if she's married or not. Because if it's a fake engagement, or if she's not married, or if it's just a, a ring among many rings, and it's not an engagement ring, then he would feel okay to make the move. Yeah. But if she is getting engaged, it sounds like he still wants to also see if it's yeah that serious. Because he could do that shit. Stop and, thinking about doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, at it, some point, the lessons will probably end, mm-hmm. and at that point. 
when things are not on a right, professional basis, right. maybe you can explore. But yeah. if you want to know about the details before that might happen, I guess that's fair, but don't fucking do shit. Or teach songs that are obvious about what, if she is engaged, obvious what you want to do. Do you know what I mean? You could be like, we're going to learn this today. Like a wicked game. Ding, ding. Say that about bad sing. Dong, dong, da, da, da. Say that about bad sing. Dong, dong, da, da, da. Just two notes. So, so it's like so obvious. You're not even learning right, much. Right, right, right. For the wicked game we play, <laughs> when you're absolutely married, but do some shady things with your piano teacher. <laughs> Just per se, play that. <laughs> ding, ding, said it a bad, bad thing. She fucked the piano teacher. <laughs> 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 she has so many rings. Why? Da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da. Are they real or are they fake? Dun -dun -da -da -da. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 Answer this question even though I'm singing. Are you engaged? <laughs> dong, dong, dun, 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 dun. It's not part of the song. Dong, dong, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Dude, holy shit, God dude. God damn. God damn. Oh, my God. Is it a real engagement? So, <laughs> if the answer is yes, how serious is it? Would you explore cramming so many words in between the answers? <laughs> <laughs> Would you explore doing the horizontal mamba with your piano teacher? Dun, 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 wow. Okay. What a wicked game we play. You come over to learn piano and I get a boner. No, ah, hi. <laughs> All right. I'm so, so fucking beige. So don't make a move. Don't make a is move. Is the solution here. Yeah, don't make a move. Okay. Okay. Next. I apparently drive my soon-to-be fiance insane with the way I microwave my food. I push mm. the 30-second button over and over, beep, 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 because it's fucking expedient. And I stand by the microwave, and I check to make sure it's not too hot or not too cold, and if it needs to stay in there longer, it fucking stays in there longer. It's not that big of a deal. But she draws issue with the fact that she has to get up and push the cancel button so that it displays the time again. And I just don't don't do that how about learn to live with it i don't know what do you think so this guy what is it this guy i do that too he, he's saying instead of putting in its own uh, uh a single time you just repeatedly hit the 30 second button oh and pay attention as it's heating up okay and then you only go by that so if you want to heat it for like a minute and a half and you know that do and then you want to keep an eye on it yeah doot, 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 yeah and why, then you watch why? and then if you decide you want it for two minutes doot, right and two and a half minutes. Doot, doot. And it bothers her because of what? She's making too much noise? I think she wants the single time, the, the confidence of the single move. Well, that's not her heating up the food. And I think it bothers her that he like lurks around the microwave. And no, that's not what he said. He, okay, then what is it? She wants to have the time on the display, not yes. like 23 seconds left. Why Correct. though? Yeah, that's... I mean, he's right. I mean, she's... she's yeah, that doesn't matter. a weird complaint of That hers. doesn't matter. That's weird for her. If she's going to be... <laughs> this guy was so hot. He yeah, was he so came hot, in hot right there. He just, came in. He was just like... She was okay, driving, so, and they yeah. were just arguing yep. about it. Yeah. Yep. And she was like, don't do the video. And then she went into Target, and he did the video. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Uh, if if that's the issue... Well, that first of all, that's not the issue. It's got to be... I mean, that's that's really... That's not an issue. How about that? Yay! We found one that's absolutely not an issue. Finally, yay! No, the issue is hers. Why does she have a problem with it? Yeah, like, that's he's right. Mm. That's a weird fucking complaint. Yeah, that is a weird complaint. I mean, of all the things to complain about your partner, like, yeah, imagine like all the things you kind of sat on and never told your various ex girlfriends. Like, how many fucking things w are better than that? Oh man, it's I, such a non thing. Those I, I eat those all day, you know. Right, yeah. you gotta eat those all day. Those little snacks <laughs> your, all day. I'm just like, don't do that. Okay, well, I don't want to. It's not worth it. Okay, exactly. Don't, okay, well, I don't. And then that's how it becomes. It becomes cancer eventually. That's why everyone dies from cancer because that because. And she had the gall to say that one. Yeah, that's crazy. Are there other things that are wrong? There's got to be so many things that are wrong. But that's a hilarious one. What to if there's so few mm -hmm. that this is the only one she can really come up with? Then this is the perfect couple exactly. of all time. Exactly. Maybe that's Amazing. the that's the advice. You have the greatest relationship. You of have all the time. greatest relationship of all time and have a kid and that kid grows up and becomes a, it's jesus christ it's basically the most well-adjusted yeah beautiful child that's amazing dude be, yeah. that's great dude congratulations okay. this guy's hey, got the greatest congratulations relationship of all to time you and your, your your upcoming wedding yeah. good job mm -hmm. and show the show this video to your girlfriend and about how this uh, hey don't do that to him let him do you know what let him do it let him do it or how about this you heat up the food it's his food. He wants He'd to do it. He'd have the food for him, though. But he wants to do it his way. 
Yeah, what the fuck, dude? You can't control the temperature of his food, man. Wow. Okay, you got you're, you're getting hot now. But you can't, though. You know what's getting hot? His food, exactly the way he wants it. Yeah. Because he gets to fucking ride the time. And I don't ride the time. I always put in, I do a minute and a half. Oh, I ride the time, dude. I just, I coast on the time. That's stupid. It. But what about- Come on, ride the time. Woo! And ride it. Woo! Woo! So okay. bad. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, it's not your fault, bro. It's not your fault. It's like that scene in uh, Good Will Hunting. It's not your fault. And then he starts crying yeah. at the microwave. It's not. <laughs> it's not your fault. No, no, I know, I know. It's not. I just like to ride the time. It's not your fault. No, no, I know, I know. It's like I, I just like to ride the time. Boop. That's not your fault. No, no, okay. Uh, the lasagna is mm, <laughs> going around, plus. around. <laughs> They're hugging. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. God damn it, Greg! In the back. Why is everybody Greg today? You pick one and you roll with it. Dude. Okay. Okay. Next one. Hey, Matt, I was hoping I could get your advice on something with Only my best Matt? friend. And uh, Chris, I guess you could throw your opinion in there, too. Uh, <laughs> he and I are both pretty antisocial people, and it's oh, hard Matt. for us to find a time where we both want to spend time with one another. Soon I'm going to be going away to college, and that's going to take me many hours away. So I was hoping you guys could give me some advice on how I could find a way to spend time with him. Are you talking about his boyfriend? Who's he talking about? Best friend. Oh. Can you... Uh, can you I kind of was unclear about that from the beginning. Can you play that one again, actually? Yeah. Hey, Matt. I was hoping I could get your advice on something with my best friend. And uh, Chris, I guess you could throw your opinion in there, too. Uh, He and I are both pretty antisocial people, and it's hard for us to find a time where we both want to spend time with one another. Mm. Soon I'm going to be going away to college, and that's going to take me many hours away. So I was hoping you guys could give me some advice on how I could find a way to spend time with him. You guys got to fuck. That's tough because you, I mean, when I think of antisocial behavior, I think of like, you don't want to like go to fucking parties yeah. and be with big groups. Right. But as is sometimes a very often antisocial person myself, right. I, I will often be not consider that like one-on-one shit. One-on-one shit is kind of better. And if, if the issue is you're antisocial and he's antisocial, so you don't want to hang out with each other. And it's hard to find times to just want to be around a living human body. Mm. That's a little bit trickier. I don't know. But like, I would say that just make sure it's a thing that the both of you want to do and that it's just you guys and that there's no like next thing that you guys are going to go to like an, uh, a fucking party or whatever, like no other people being invited. Mm. Make sure it's like a fucking chill, relaxed environment that like isn't going to be interfered with by others. No, he needs the metaverse. What's that mean? He needs to just plug into the metaverse and find some fucking, what do they call the, you know, they go to build a place in the metaverse, have the guy, people meet. This is what antisocial people do. They get hooked into the metaverse and they just chill out. Dude. What is it? What are you saying? It's like the Matrix, man. You just fucking put on some VR goggles and you go into the metaverse and you chill out and you fucking so do whatever you want. So they share a space in the metaverse? Yeah, they could. Even yeah. though they're alone? That's no, something? Well, you're, you're alone. Yeah, no, I get Nobody that. is ever actually really in the metaverse. I know. So but, you're alone and you go into the metaverse and you do whatever you want and you meet up with that dude and maybe you have a house with that guy in the metaverse. But how do you... How, you could fuck each other. It's not even gay. How do you have... How do you meet up with someone in the metaverse? What does that mean? Your avatar meets another person's avatar. Can you then, plan to meet somewhere? Yeah, you can... Yeah, or like text oh, wow. them in the metaverse, I guess. I don't really know how it goes. I'm not antisocial, but you can go do that and then you could fuck each other even if you're both guys that's not gay. What I would suggest... First and foremost, though, is don't force it and f- because you feel like you have a clock on it. Like this idea of like, oh, no, I'm leaving for college soon. Right. I'm not going to be able to see him a lot. I want to hang out with him. Mm. I want to hang out with him. I want to hang out with him. You might just end up making it weird, not just for him, but also for yourself. Right. You also, get this weird pressure on yourself and him. Yeah. But you're going to end up hanging out with him again. You'll be home from college sometimes. Yeah. You'll fucking meet up you know it's up to you guys but also like, the, the yeah. don't think of college as the end of something right it's not plus also the metaverse is no matter where you are no matter where you are you can hook in your avatar and meet up with whoever the fuck you want and be antisocial in the metaverse but with someone else and technically you're still antisocial you be at a party and still be antisocial because you're at the metaverse you're not actually doing it that's why if you both of you him and his friend go back home and fuck each other it's not even gay so two things why do you keep on bringing up the metaverse? He didn't do that. And why do you keep mentioning fucking him in the metaverse? I'm suggesting be in the metaverse because you can get out all of the fucking things that you want to both ways, anti-socially and also socially because you're still being anti-social when you're in the metaverse because it doesn't really count in real life 
which is why I'm saying if they fuck each other, it doesn't count as being gay. It seems like you're adding the last part about fucking for absolutely no reason, but that's I'm, okay, I guess. These guys need to, yeah. It's, uh, if also, dude, you know what? Is he going to college? So here's the other thing. Yes. Um, you're not going to be probably friends with this guy anyway in five years, so it's fine. That might be true, but it, that, that doesn't, see, you can't say that though, because yeah. him now is friends with him. Mm. Like, you can't be like, don't worry about it. Yeah. It's like, you can't tell the kid like, right, that's that true. problem that you are crying over. That's true. When you're fucking 20 isn't going to matter worth shit. Yeah. You know, you can't really say that. That's true, dude. But I am going to say that as a father. I mean, you would be right, but yeah, it's going to fuck up the kid. I think know? that honestly, uh, it'll be, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I mean, the other guy, are they worried about the relationship? What's this guy worried about? Is the other guy worried? He wants to hang get the max that's what i was saying before about there being a clock on it yeah he wants to make sure he maximizes their potential time together before he moves hours away it's it's a weird dichotomy though because he wants to hang out with the guy but he also is saying I, i'm antisocial but it, why, if he's antisocial and he's okay with it then why does he want to be fucking social yeah maybe maybe you just need to be maybe you're you are not that antisocial yeah you frankly. might not be maybe he is maybe exactly. the other guy is yeah, yeah. In which case, try to fucking get him into the metaverse. Just tell him, dude, like, I'm leaving him. soon. Like, let's hang as much as much as you can. And as much as you're down, like, let's hang. Because I'm around and I really right. want to hang with you before I go. Mm -hmm. As much as we can. Yeah. Bada boom. That's good. Yeah. That's good advice. Yeah. Okay, Next. cool. Next. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? My name's Mitch. I love the show. Every episode's been great, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a huge fan of both of you guys. Keep doing what you're doing and get your dad on the show, <laughs> please. Anyways, body odor. Oh, That's the question, Ooh. body odor. When someone has it, someone you work with every single day, someone that's right next to you all day long, do you tell them, do you not tell them? Oh, them? dude. Do you just plug the snozz and keep on trucking or oh. what do I do, dude? Because my partner at work has a stench. Oh. And it... Is terrible. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Please Dude. help, guys. Thanks. Huge fan. Love you guys. See you. Thanks, Love bro. You, too, you know, you know what? Uh it's tough because you gotta be careful with that shit because you can get like sued in the workplace for shit like that. But for Yeah, be like, yo, you stink. You gotta fucking put on deodorant. You can get sued for well, that. He's for not sure. gonna say that. That's the why he's calling in. That's like what I'm saying. So we talk about the things you do do and the things that you don't do, so oh, don't okay. do that. Okay, okay. Right? Especially if he's fucking his boss, which he says he's his partner, so maybe not. Maybe they're, you know what they are? Maybe they're detectives, right? Um, <laughs> maybe they're so, in like a pod together. He can't get away. Yeah, 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 which is awful. Um, Shit, man. Walk in with a fucking one of those things, like a fucking clothespin. <laughs> and the guy be like, what are you doing? And be like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you have a nose, right? So you smell yourself. <laughs> so what the fuck? What, what do, are you asking? Do everything short of telling him that he yeah, smells. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, terrible. I um, mean, maybe like. Body odor doesn't bother me. I'm French. Dude, really? Yeah. Are you crazy? I don't care. Why? Doesn't bother me. Body odor. But smell how you, you smell. Can you tell? Yep. Mm -hmm. There was one time there, that I would hang out with somebody and they had horrible body odor and I could not take it. But only one time. I've smelled body odor. Sometimes it just smells like a sandwich. You know what I mean? They smell like a sandwich or like onions. I'm fine Disgusting, I don't dude. care, man. I don't Smelling care about body like odor. Smelling like a sandwich with the onions on yep, it? Yep. I don't care, man. I don't give a fuck. Bad breath? I'm on the fucking highway. I'm out of here, dude. Bad okay, breath is cool. awful. They're the same thing, kind of. I know, but one is on the outside and it feels superficial, and one is on the inside. If you have bad body odor, that's fine. You can wash it. If you have bad breath, that's inside you. That's who you are. That's I mean, who no, your soul is. is. Your soul is, stinks like shit. Body odor is who you are. But I'm French about that, man. Okay. Well, you're not French about fucking breath. No, because that's who you are. No, you made that up entirely. French people have body odor. They don't have bad breath, dude. You want bad breath, you go to like fucking, I mean, I don't want to say it, but you know, you know. I don't know. Halitosis is not regional, buddy. I, I know that, but like sometimes when you, some Korean guys. when they come Oh, okay. Wow. Know, but you're not supposed there's to say There's a it, fucking, yeah. there's a, there's a weird thing too, where your, your sense of smell for someone, the way your nose interacts with someone else can it actually change over time? Yep. And I wouldn't bank on that. I wouldn't bank on your nose just suddenly being okay with this fucking coworker, especially now that it's lodged in your head. But I used to be around someone, someone I dated, uh, who smelled great mm -hmm. in the beginning of my relationship. Mm -hmm. And then as it soured, as the relationship got worse, mm -hmm. I swear at the end, 
she smelled like cat piss. But do you know why? You know why that happened though, honestly? Actual cat piss. I know, I okay. know. It's because I didn't like her and then after you guys started dating a little bit, I would take cat piss I put under your nose. Oh, that yep. you ruined it. You didn't ruined like her, it all. Wow. Didn't like her cat piss, dude? Cat piss. <laughs> cat piss. Has Fucking it been the other piss. way? Sometimes has it been the other way? I used Ooh, to hang out with a guy who had, who had bad smells and then I realized, oh, it's not so bad and I don't know if I changed or he changed or what. I, not, get, not, got, not, I mean, just a friend. You probably got fucking, used but, to it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, I would say, oh, shit, man. You're fucked. Yeah, get a new job. Get, get, get like Relocate. a... Relocate. You know, Shave, like, go in the witness protection program. During the Black Plague, you know, they had those long masks. Oh, yeah. They, put, they? The, they put flowers and citrus juice... Oh, is that what it was? ...in the big nose thing. Yeah. Really? So they wouldn't smell the dead bodies all the time. Oh, dude, that's what that long dick nose thing yeah, was? Yeah, dude. Then why yeah. do they do that for like sex parties? They... It got crossed, you know what I mean? Wow, like, dude. In fucking Eyes Wide Shut? Yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. Ding, 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 ding. That's my favorite movie score of all time. Okay. okay. One, ding, is that German teacher? Ding, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Speaking. Ding, 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 ding. Worst, best song to get stuck in your head, but worst song to get stuck. <laughs> Speaking of Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah. Baby did a bad, bad thing is in Oh, yeah, dude. Shot. It all comes full circle, yeah, dude. Imagine having shot. that song stuck in your head, walking down the street, just ding, ding, <laughs> ding. Just Tourette syndrome at the bank. Ding, ding. The, Chris? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? You don't have to sing the song that's stuck in your head that loud. <laughs> It'd be so insane. The two best songs in the world are in that movie. Not bad, bad thing. They go ding, 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 the score, and also the fucking when they're fucking, dude. <laughs> oh, the Gregorian chant shit? Yeah, dude, oh. Gregorian chant. Oh, that's the dude. thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love it, dude. I do like Gregorian chants. And ding, alien, ding. An alien having sex. The sexiest fucking uh, with a fucking. Uh, uh, a Ouija Dobo. What Adobo Jidobo? What the, the fucking fuck? that the guys what do they call it? What are they sounds? Did you redo? Did you redo, dude? You guys are making up sounds. Sucking dick, but also a did you redo? Leo Wow. Ding. Hurting your legs. Ding. Hurting your legs. <laughs> hurting your legs so bad. Dude, that with the with they're just fucking. Yeah, I know what it you know is. what I'm saying? That part. <laughs> <laughs> uh fucking what was it? Oh, the smell. Uh, dude, imagine the smell try, at that sex party. Try like lighting fucking candles, lighting incense. Bring those sand. What are those things called? Those little pieces of wood? Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Yes. They're going to get it. Light them. No, I'm, I'm happy. I know what the name is okay. now, motherfucker. Okay. Um, light them in the office I mean, around the motherfucker. I mean, and the then, sex party. And then Dick when knows. the guy asks, say, because it smells like shit in here. You don't mm, smell that? Mm. You can like be really forceful about it mm. smelling like shit and then maybe he'll get the idea like oh is it me because mm. then the guy will be like he'll, he can see like oh i don't smell it what does it smell like and he goes i don't know it smells like fucking bodies or something like mm. like gross sandwiches bodies sandwiches with onions on yeah it. something like gross body odor or but you don't have to say it's you yeah you know you know what you could do go in with the candles and that fucking big dick nose with the flowers in it yeah he'll be like what the fuck is this eyes wide shut and then be like, nah, dude, you know what, man? You don't smell that? And he'll be like, nah. And then take your dick nose off and be like, there's this weird smell in here and it's been in here for a while. And then go around the room and just be like. Yeah. And I go lift up the stapler. Wow. Like, like go on to him. Go, and then go to his armpit and go like this. And then go like this. <laughs> and fucking faint, fake faint, and then be like. And then wake up and be like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. He'll be too embarrassed. Yeah. He'll be like, I don't know. And then he'll get the hint that it's his fucking onion turkey sandwich God fucking armpit. damn it. I don't even like when you say it. Ding, ding, <laughs> ding. <laughs> Hurting your fucking thighs so bad, dude. <laughs> Those are the final thrusts, though. Um, all right. Well, I guess we got this guy covered. Yeah, dude. All right. Next one. Hey, Matt and Chris. This is uh, Richard. I'm a longtime fan of you guys. I've been a fan of congratulations since like, uh, episode 100. Um, Hell yeah. I think it's great. I love what you guys do. You're so funny. Hell My yeah. question Richard? is uh, pretty easy. Um, 
I'm like 22 years old. I graduated college recently. I've moved into a house. I'm starting a job soon. I'm, I think I've got a handle on myself in my adult life. But um, my family actually mm. gets on me really hard about um, my hair. I've taken oh, pride in my oh, hair, growing dude. my beard out and my hair. And my family just says it looks unprofessional. Everyone, they're telling me to cut it always. And I think you guys can agree that that's like, it's my hair. It's my job to like take care of it and oh, yeah. take good care of it. And it's not like a thing to be ashamed of oh, yeah. or whatever. But how do you think I could get them to see reason? Because you guys, I think, would agree that that's just like kind of an annoying question to always have to be answering. Like, when are you getting engaged or when are you going to have kids? Yeah. It's just like, it's my body and my hair and I want to do what I want to do with it. So thank you guys. Bye. First of all, he already got a fucking job. So who cares? He has a job. His life's going fine. What do you mean professional? Professional what? Also, that's fucking old school shit, I was shit, just going to say, what, how old are these? Are they only your parents? Shit. Probably because that is so old school that's to think so, that way. You could fucking have any hair and get yeah, any dude. job. Dude, you could be a doctor if you wanted. Yeah, I mean, a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a certain kind of doctor yeah. could be operating with that shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although if you tied it up, yeah. fuck it, yeah. No, he's just like fucking forceps, <laughs> moving his fucking beard away. Um, first of all, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. That's just annoying, man. Your family—that's so annoying. Here's dude. what I think: they say it's not professional, but what they just what they mean. All they mean yeah, is yeah. they want you to fucking cut it. They don't like it. Yeah, yeah, they don't like it. But yeah. but again, fuck them. Like it's your fucking head. Dude, never cut your hair because someone else says you should. Never do that. Do the opposite. Hey, you should get your hair cut. Now it's going longer. Yeah. Anytime you say it, it's going longer. Oh, you add an inch? You want to add another inch? Uh, hey, Dad, yeah. did you hear Mom? Mom just added an inch. That's two inches for you guys because you both agreed. <laughs> uh, da, 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 and the beard's going longer. Great, great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, that's annoying as shit. It's your hair. It's your hair. Or shave it completely. And honestly, say and be like, I hope you're happy. Yeah. And and say like, and then say you did it because fucking of the Aryan Nation, and you and do it, put a swastika on the oh, back. Oh no, 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 no! I'm no, just no. saying these are all fucking great advice. No, that's a terrible bit of advice. Okay. Because then no one wins, you know. Well. Except the Aryan Nation, and that's not good. The master race. That's not good. Okay. You agree, actually? Yeah. You're acting. Yeah. Okay. I agree. The German guy, the piano teacher, probably agrees. No, not every German is a Nazi. I know. Do you? No. Hey, Chris. Hey, Matt. My name's Jacob. And I'll I'm keep cop. it short and sweet for you guys. I just want to know, how does one speak highly of themselves without sounding arrogant? Thanks for keeping it real and making me laugh. Oh. Well, I mean, just talk about yourself. And then when somebody says like, Oh, you sound arrogant. Be like, oh no, that's what the fucking New York Times says. Oh, no. Um, I don't know. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, you know what you got to do? You got to balance it out with yeah. saying dumb shit about you. Yeah. Right. Bad shit. Like, yeah. um, honest you know, bad shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know me. Like yeah, I've got this mustache and it's terrible, but also I'm great at hockey. Right. But also it needs to be in context. Like. You don't say great shit about yourself out of the blue. And if, you're, mm. if you, you, sometimes it helps to preface, like when you say something good about yourself, you'd be like, I, I, look, I know how this is going to sound, like fucking make fun of me if you want, but it's true. And then you say the thing. <laughs> you can't just be like, I'm the shit. You know what? You I know, know how this is going to sound and I, I get it, but I am great at hockey. Yeah, that would be not as good. It mostly even seems you're listening to what I'm saying. It yeah. mostly seems pretty arrogant. But honestly, dude, sometimes it's like, Look, the fact that you're even really thinking about this probably means it's yeah, okay and you're not full of yourself. Yeah, exactly. Um, but also, it's like, why do you want to say good stuff about yourself? It's got to be in some kind of context that we're not aware of, that we're not getting, that for him comes up from time to time. Like, I think maybe what he's asking is like, how it's do you chick. how do you like advocate for yourself without mm. coming off as cocky? Um, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Maybe I'm putting words in his mouth. Sounds I, it, like it's his chick. What? Like you just you know you're always like, and he's just like, this is why you like me though. I'm good at hockey. And she's deeper, like, deeper <laughs> issues. Wow. I don't know, man. I think that there's a line. You know, you just fucking you pepper in a few. Look, how about this, man? Treat it as if someone else is talking about you. Yeah. They say the they see the good and the bad. Or right. You're talking about someone else. Yeah. What? Treat it as if you're talking about someone yeah, else. Exactly. Not right, you, yeah, exactly. Right, 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 right. Um, yeah, it'd be like, you know, yeah, well, you know, I'm good at hockey. You know, you know that guy. 
Yeah, but also his legs are short. You don't actually put it in the third person, though. You go like, that guy, but yeah. me. That guy. <laughs> Just end up pointing at yourself. <laughs> I, I I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know. This is something I don't worry about. Maybe it means I'm conceited. I do, mm-hmm. I do say things that are about me that are good, but I also say things about me that are terrible a lot. Which is time. why people will listen to you, yeah. Mm, yeah. If you say it too much, say too many good things, people will be like, fuck that guy. Yeah, Rightfully yeah. so. Because right. what's the fucking point uh, of listening to somebody who's just talking about how great they are? Yeah. But uh, yeah, also I would say just I, uh, the advice that I'm, I gave is I think is the right advice, but I think just to be have a little bit of caution about there's a certain kind of thing that you just shouldn't bring up about yourself regardless of how you preface it or anything like, like that. what i don't know like well certainly how much fucking money you have is oh. never a good thing like there are certain what things that's that are what he was talking just about? in bad taste i got crazy money how do i talk about how much <laughs> money i have because i have a lot of it without sounding arrogant <laughs> you, you guys know money right oh yeah yeah okay so how much do you guys have <laughs> oh you have that much oh okay oh never mind then to do that but like, really? why? Oh, the, no, because I was just wondering what was like normal. Because I have way more than that, but it's <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, my shit is like actually. You know what's funny is you know how they keep uh, bank accounts. You can access your bank account on your app at your phone. Um, my phone's it's heavier because of how much money is in my app on my phone. Wow. Yeah. Dude. But anyway, dude. Anyway, what were we talking about? Yeah. What else? What else can you not talk about? I think this is like a. This is like a. Uh, you either know how to do it or you don't kind of thing. You know? Because there's such a fucking... It's not that fine of a line between boasting and just talking. Yeah. So, like, if you have a... If you perceive that as to be a very thin line, then, like, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Maybe you shouldn't say it. Um. Yeah. I like the money. Th- I like the money conversation. I yeah. like that. Well, I, got, I brought that Here's up. Another way you could do it. Here's another way you could do it, and it would be okay to talk about how much money you have. Okay. Who's your favorite cartoon character? Who do you uh, like? That's a cartoon character. I like uh, Pepe Le Pew. Oh, that's funny. Mine is fucking Scrooge McDuck. I love how he fucking has so much money. Do you know what's weird? I'm like him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, and they'd be like, why? Because you never wear pants? And be like, no, 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 no. Because all the money he has. Also, my, Duck tails. Oh, woo! My favorite is actually Michigan J. Frog, not Pepe Le Pew. Yep. I was in a character. I was I, I playing know. someone who I know, was me too. not me. Okay. I know, me too. Okay. Um... He goes, hello, my baby, hello, my darling, hello, my ragtime gal. Yeah. And he does the top hat with the yep. cane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's a frog. I know that. Oh, okay. I mean, that's why his name is Michigan J. Frog. He's yeah. from Michigan, too. You could have the last name Frog and not be a frog, obviously. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Well, is that it? I guess we're done. Do you guys want to be done? You want to do another one? Sure. Okay, let's do another one. Gentlemen, how are we? My Wolverine. name's Britt. I'm Wolverine. in Cairns, Australia. Huge fan of the podcast. Fuck Chris. Yeah. I've been a fan oh. since day one. Love you both. Keep doing what you're doing. i got some advice that I need from you guys. Medication as an adult. I was diagnosed with ADHD at about nine, ten years old. Uh, I was on medication for about five or six years. My mum said it improved my grades and my behavior. I don't remember it doing so well. Um, I'm 28 now and I'm looking to get back into study. And I feel like medication would improve certain things in my life. Um to do with anxiety, stress, all of those kind of things. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Medication as an adult, uh, please let me know what you reckon. Um, love the podcast. Keep doing what you're doing. Dude, uh, what is people's aversion to taking medication? Old school shit, man. It's still, there's that old way of thinking that's like, don't take medication, you know? But also Australia is like a little bit behind on the times. So they yeah, got COVID maybe, later. Maybe they have a different view of it, but mm-hmm. dude, take it yeah dude just try it at it, least i mean talk to a doctor about it don't yeah. like buy it on the fucking nah, street go to fucking downtown and get it <laughs> but like snort it if a doctor prescribed it for you in the past and it's an actual clinical problem that you have ostensibly still then fucking and you're having potential trouble on the horizon right. or experiencing something that you could be that you could benefit from being on the same medicine again what the fuck do it take it i had yeah yeah. I had really bad, I have really bad OCD, as you guys know, probably if you're fucking, if you listen to me ever, but like, uh, I have really bad OCD and I didn't want to take medication for the longest time. And then finally I was like, if it ever gets in, this was back when I was like 26 something, 25. I was like, if it ever gets in the way of my work, I'll start taking medication. If my OCD ever starts getting in the way of my work. And then one night it did get in the way of my work and I thought, that's it. I mem- I gave myself an ultimatum and I started taking medication the next day because I already had it. 
I already had it. I just never took it. I started taking medication the next day. Dude, it, it fucking really takes the edge off shit, man. Like my OCD isn't as bad. Um, I mean, I still struggle with it and I'm still m me. You know what I mean? Sometimes people have aversion to taking medication is I'll lose myself, but you don't, dude. You become a better version of yourself. I mean, it's 2022. The medication's around for a reason. It's not like everyone's fucking hoodwinked into taking this shit. Yeah. You know? Um, so yeah, I mean, but I think that it's a good thing to do. Why didn't you... Why did you have an aversion to taking it? Because I place? thought I was going to lose myself. Here's the thing, though. And don't take offense to this. You're a fucking piece you, of shit. You're not going to fucking... You're not that great in the first place. I was great. <laughs> and you like, know Scrooge McDuck? The thing, the thing that everyone is so like nervous... Yeah, I, I hear that true. a lot. Yeah, like, you're not that great. Like You're not that fucking great. great. Just that's take great. this shit. You're going to be better for yourself and everybody else. You're not that fucking that's great. great. Take the medicine. That's good. I was great, but yeah. And I am great, but yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But so yeah. you're the exception, but yeah. Nah, there's a few exceptions. It's like me, fucking Tiger Woods, and Jesus. But it's like, oh. you know, you don't want to take the shit too much shit. And uh, but yeah, I get it, dude. I get it. But yeah, if it worked for you when you were ten, and if shit's getting in the way now with your mental shit, then you know, um, try it and try it for three months. Try yes. it for four months. Sometimes it takes a long time for it to kick in. Anyway, yes. you probably won't even realize it. And About if you got ADHD, ADHD sucks. Take, but dude. Yeah. Yeah. ADHD dude, sucks. Get on some shit. Talk to a doctor. Let them fucking. Make you feel better. I know Let people with ADHD and dude, they don't even know where they are sometimes. What? Well, I mean, not, you know, I mean, not actually not uh, know where they are, but I'm just saying it's like they do shit and you're just like, what the fuck's going on? And it, they're like, sorry, I, I don't. And then you get frustrated. It fucks people's lives up. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. There you go. Fucking do it. So fucking that's it, do man. it. Subscribe to the Clips channel, dude. We put out the clips and fucking share the clips and share... Um, Share it. Uh, subscribe to Super Cult Studios. Uh, this is where this podcast is. And if you have a question, if you have a question, click on the link in the description below or go to watchlifeline.com. And, uh, you know, crystalia.com for tickets. I am on tour. Go uh, to crystalia.com. Oh, I didn't announce Albany. I'm going to be in Albany too. But uh, go there and, uh, and uh, you can get this merch here, uh, crystalia.com. But anyway. Watch, life, watch lifeline.com for uh, submissions. We really enjoy doing the show. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, thanks, you guys. You guys Thank have you. merch coming out soon, right? Oh, yeah. We have merch coming out too, soon, too. So stick uh, stick around for that. We'll be uh, announcing it soon. And if all of you don't buy some of it and put it on and take pictures and send in your video submissions with it on, I'm going to fucking rage and cry every single day of my life. Okay. You need to get on medication then. But <laughs> um, yeah, guys, thanks for listening and leave comments. Appreciate you. Hello. Hello.